Hi, Dr. Milky Beck with another foot message for you. A conversation that I've had at least two or three times this week in my practice with patients is the fact that as we get older, and um, it's different for uh, everybody, but um, law of averages, uh, you get into your 50s and 60s and 70s and beyond, um, our feet have changed. And one of the things that happens is we, many people tend to lose some of their fat pad on the bottom of the feet. So, you know, you look at the uh, bone structure and, you know, the heel bone is hard. All these bones are hard, but we're landing on the heel bone. If you lose some of the fat in your heel, you know, you're hitting that bone hard. And so walking around in the house, especially on hard surfaces, the kitchen floor in most cases, the bathroom floor, uh, with nothing on your feet, um, that can hurt. That can cause pain, just that alone. The balls of the feet, you know, again, these bones are all real hard and more prominent, not just hard, because all the bones are hard, but they're more prominent, meaning like we're gonna hit that area. We're gonna hit our heel pretty hard and we're gonna hit the, the balls of the feet pretty hard. So um, that's another area where we lose fat. We call it fat pad atrophy. Doesn't happen to everybody, but it does happen to a decent percentage of the population. So sure, you can go barefoot in your, you know, teen years and 20s and 30s and maybe even 40s for that matter. But then um, we start to lose some of the cushion down there. And, you know, I've had people joke with me and say, can't you transfer some of the fat from other parts of my body down to my feet? We wish we could, right? Uh, then we'd always have cushion down here and we'd lose it in other areas. Uh, but nonetheless, um, we want to make sure that, you know, a good quality pair of slippers, a good quality pair of sandals, a good quality pair of shoes, uh, tennis shoes, that type of thing in the home. And if you love to be barefoot and your feet hurt, well, then obviously, you know, that's not a good scenario. So you might have to just modify what you've been doing and wear shoes more often. If you're on carpeting, it's different, but when you're on a hard surface, um, your feet might not be able to tolerate that. And that alone can lead to some foot problems, especially in the heel and in the balls of the feet. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.